Today, Louis Moinet presents the first chronograph which was ever made. It was created from Louis Moinet during the year 1815 and finished in 1816. It's an amazing creation. It is not only the first chronograph in the history of watchmaking, it is also a wonderful technological object. It beats 216,000 vibrations an hour. The standard at that time, it was 18,000, so you can imagine the fantastic uh, achievement that he made. And also, it has a return to zero. This function, up to today, it, is, it was believed that it was invented in 1862 from Mr. Nicole. So Louis Moinet had 50 years, nearly 50 years, advance in this field. Also, with the high frequency, Louis Moinet can be considered as the pioneer today because the next watch, beating more than 216,000 vibrations an hour, was made exactly a century afterwards. It was an astronomical object that he created, this first chronograph, which measured the 60th of a second. And here also, the standard in 1820 was the 5th of a second, maybe the 10th of a second. But the 60th of a second, it is something unheard of, something out of this world. When we started the company, right after the year 2000, we had a biography of Louis Moinet consisting of 15 pages. And even though that Louis Moinet was considered by his peers as one of the most important watchmakers who ever lived, we had little evidence of that. However, when I read his watchmaking treatise, a fantastic book in two volumes that he took 20 years to write, and which was published first in 1848, I read many times about this Comte Tierce. He called this counter a Comte Tierce, which means an object counting the 60th of a second. And he didn't call it a chronograph for a simple reason, is that the name did not exist yet. So I was aware of the existence of this object. And for many years we looked for it, but we couldn't find it. And actually it was in a private collection. And it came in auction last year in Geneva. For us as an independent watchmaker, it will help us to promote the name of Louis Moinet, put it in the right place on the top of the watchmaking names. It is a great responsibility we have now, because we must be up to the standard of Mr. Louis Moinet. You must imagine that uh, we are an independent company, small one, small size, and I have been fighting for nearly 15 years now to promote this name, step by step, and this was a really big one that will show to the world the importance of Mr. Moinet. And for us, I think it is the beginning of a, uh, an even nicer story.